Hello everyone. I can't believe the member of Violet came, but well, I know, I still have my Halloween decorations, but it's only the 1st of November, I think. <laughs> I don't know, um, but um, yeah. I hope you guys had fun for Halloween. I know I did. Um, honestly, this is probably my, be my best one yet. So I am pl planning for my next year. I'm gonna give these ideas. Maybe you will see like two repetitive, generic um, topics in the book lean, so don't be surprised. It is how it is, but um, should I probably take a break? Maybe, but I just wanna keep filming. <laughs> so I am, as I said before, back in September maybe. Uh, I am interested in doing an extended version of Halloween except in winter where we also continue to read spooky books but I think it might go from like September, uh, September, oh my gosh, <laughs> maybe I do need a break, um, from December 15 to Christmas maybe, I'm not sure, something like that, um, I'll find out but I don't have too crazy of my TV yet, I do want to you know, settle down a little bit from all the readings I have done in October. I have never read it that much, so bravo. <laughs> well, let's get going. My first book is A Hunt of Shadows by Elise Kova. From Benny Magic, Shadowy Intrigue, a hot party action and slow burn romance. Emma is now a champion of the Solarius Empire. She is off to a land she only dreamed about. But nightmare awaits her. Her sworn enemy has escaped. His allies are powerful and deadly. And Ava finds herself tangled in a dangerous web of the un under city of Ryzen, when the mysterious court of shadows and lethal pillars have battled for the fate of the kingdom. And so I know what I mean is I think it's perfect for November. It's we got the old blue color going on. So we got blue, it's icy. Why not, you know? My next one is Voyage of the Dam by Francis Wright. Twelve magical blessings, twelve days at sea, one chance to stop a killer and save the world. For a thousand years, Cordia has maintained peace between its provinces. To mark this incredible feat, the Empire's ship embarks upon a twelve-day voyage to the sacred goddesses, Mountain. Aboard are the twelve heroes of the provinces of Concordia, each graced with a unique and secret magical military known as Blessing. All except one, Gany Mene's Pesero, class clown slacker and on all around disappointment. When a beloved hair is murdered, Aaron is a suspect, stuck at sea and surrounded by powerful people without a blessing to protect him. Gamedea's odds of survival are slim. But as the bodies pile higher, Gamedea's must become the hero he was not born to be. Can he unmask the killer and the secret blessing before this bloody crusade? reaches the shores of Concordia, or when the emperor as he knows it's foul. <laughs> and my next book is My Salty Mary by Cynthia Henn, Bernie Ashton, and Joni Manos. Fish out of water. Mary isn't just a little mummy. True, she got legs so she can run after the nuts of Charlie Prince. But after he walks down the hunt, she spares off love. She will conquer the seven seas as a pirate, even if it means she has to pose as a boy. The son of a sea witch, Jack, is Mary's cousin, child of BFF. When he learns half human, he goes about to find his long lost father. Instead, he loses his heart to the cavernous wannabe pi pirate and bunny, and he would give anything to be a part of her world. No one puts baby beard in the corner, Tobias, is the son of the infamous pirate king, Black Beard, so everyone expects him to be step into his father's boots and beard. But he might just be part of the crew. Mary's crew. He knows she's a girl and he's falling for her hard. But he also senses there's something fishy about her path, especially she's not telling him. And deadly contest. When Blackbeard dies suddenly, a contest is set to see who will be crowned next. Mary is determined to win and become Pirate King a uh, Queen. She may not be the best man for the job, but she will definitely prove she's worth her salt. <laughs> and so goofy, I just love it. I hope they got they, these guys continue to do something similar in a similar statement. It's just so goofy. And she kind of looks like Emma Watson. Is that just me? I think that's just me. So, 
Oh, look at this. That is a stunning shade of blue. Holy. And my final is The Library of Shadows by Rachel Noon. Minecraft Prep. The third most haunted school in the country where student disappearances are uncommon. And no one dares stay in the library after dark. And where Estee Lagona and Lauren went to hopes of finding her dead father. Not literally, of course. She doesn't believe in ghosts. Going to her dad's school just seems like the best home and figure out who he was. But then Estee meets Mateo, who is pro maybe, probably, definitely a real ghost. And annoying one of that. When Mateo frames Estee for the theft of a little book from the library's secret spire and then vanishes, Estee will have to track him down or risk being expelled and leaving Radcliffe early, just like her father did. Except following her father's footsteps may be more dangerous than Estee ever anticipated, as she investigates the library with the secret passageways, hidden tunnels, and haunted holes, she learns that the student disappearances aren't just myths, and if she isn't careful, she'll be next. Ooh. How enthralling. <laughs> so those are all the books I'll be reading for November. Hopefully I can actually complete them. We all find out, but... Nothing too crazy, only four books this time, you know, just to calm down the reader in me from October, because that was actually quite a lot of reading, so I'm impressed. <laughs> but anyways, let me know what are your November cold <laughs> for your, what the reading is, and otherwise, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, so if you're notified every time I post, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!